looking scruffy this morning. Ah, so we are, whoop, you. There's the ranger passing by. <laughs> taking an adult film. Morning, guys. <laughs> There's yeah, the exactly. <laughs> 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 so we just woke up this morning, leaving Indian Garden, and uh, basically we're getting ready to head up the hill. He's got the specs. Hill. Going to the top, the highest thing you can see up there. How far is it? Four and a half miles, three thousand foot ascent. So a little. We got down. we got a little, we got a little hike ahead of us today. Yeah, Yesterday I thought was you know it was kind of easy for getting up to, back up to the top of the Grand Canyon, but today it was only fifteen hundred foot up. So, right. Yeah. Today is the big day. So this is uh, the Bright Angel Trail. Bright Angel Trail. Yeah. And there's not a lot of from what we could find on YouTube. There's not a lot of videos. So hopefully I will be able to record a lot today and get you guys some visuals of what this trail looks like. <laughs> So I am walking up to the bathroom before we leave Indian Garden, and my legs are so sore. I mean, my calf muscles feel like they're about ready to pop out of my leg. Oh, they're so sore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here's the little bathroom. I want to just get an idea. There's a. There's actually three stalls here. I guess you can call them stalls. They're little rooms. And it has a little trash can and one little toilet. That's about it. Wish me luck. Well, that was easy. Uh, all right. Now we are headed up, straight up. It's like old Snuffleupius is getting a head start. We're looking at him sneaking off out of camp. Kind of looks like a Ranger Bob with that hat on. Oh, my calf muscles are sore. Cactus Alley. So I've gone about 30 feet from Indian Garden and I'm already breathing heavy. Beautiful brisk morning this morning. So it's a little chilly but nice for, for hiking uphill. Oh, here's some animals over here. <laughs> those aren't animals, those are people. Well, I guess they are kind of animals too. Morning. Going up the Bright Angel Trail. See some of the beautiful views I have ahead of me. Guys are just right behind me. Looking very park ranger today, sir. Junior ranger. <laughs> so when I'm hiking up these small hills, I usually just look at the ground. So that way I don't have to see the top of it. It kind of demotivates me to see how far the way the top is. So I just look down the ground and focus on my thoughts and focus on moving my body usually works out best for me and also I can see where I'm going then if I want to look up I'm taking the views I can well I was waiting here trying to capture a shot of them coming around that corner but they're already not there and I can't stop because if I stop, then my body gets locked up. So I think I have to keep moving. I'm not even going that fast. I had somebody pass me just a few seconds ago. So it's interesting. You're at the bottom of the Grand Canyon and you see these big pipes like this. But most of the campsites that we've been in have had plumbing of some kind. So we actually didn't need to get any water out of creeks or water sources other than this piping that actually goes all the way down to Phantom Ranch. So 
that's what you we had used for the whole trip here. Doing well, it's a nice color. I like that. Yeah, you know, you know it's almost <laughs> like we planned it. <laughs> Have a good hike. Thank you. Here they are. My heart is a racing today. I love birds on the trip. Using their found hiking stitch to love. the race yet but if I was to guess slow and steady wins this race because this is some serious uphills I'm going up right now I can't get a low angle to show you but seriously uphill so I'm just breathing heavy trying to get through it controlling my breathing and watching my step thinking about nothing but where I'm at and what I'm doing not trying to think about getting to the top just thinking about where I'm at and what I'm doing and enjoying every moment of it, even the hard parts. I notice if I take baby steps, I don't use a lot of energy. I can push myself up the hill instead of pull myself. Or the other way around, I don't know. Either way, I'm either pushing or pulling to get up this hill. Just took off the first run of base layers. Chewing an energy block and enjoying this day. I thought the guys would be right behind me, but they're not. There's another team back there. There's also another team up in front of me. We all kind of left camp around the same time. I have no idea what time it is. My watch is covered up by something keeping me warm. So I'm sweating up here. Chilly on the arms and sweating at the core, but it's pretty nice. Feeling you can see this nice little valley right over here. How cool is that? Just enjoying this day so much. I feel pretty good. My calf muscles are loosening up a little bit. My mind has finally adapted to nature. To being outside it takes a couple of days to get that especially when you do it the way that we did this trip which is so weird we normally we drive a car to a place get out and start hiking immediately go to bed wake up hike go to bed wake up hike and do that for four or five days but for this one we got on a plane then got in a minivan then drove where we were going then camped at a campsite in a national park and then we uh got back in a minivan and then drove someplace else uh, to another park and then camped and then we finally got to the Grand Canyon, parked the car and hiked down and we've been out of the car ever since. So finally now I'm adapted to being dirty, which is sounds weird but it's actually a good thing. I mean I have things to clean my body but I'm, I don't mind sitting on the ground anymore. Like at first you're kind of wanting to sit at a table and not get your, your pants dirty or your, your shirt dirty but now you can, you can wipe your mouth off on your shirt and sit on the ground and it feels good. All right, well, I've got a pretty good rest. My heart rate has gone down. So time to start moving up this hill. So I just started in some of these switchbacks here. You can see there's one down there, another one here, another one up there, and it'll just keep going like that. 
that's kind of what Bright Angel Trail is. Once you pass Indian Garden, just switch back after switch back. Which is great because that means I'm not hiking straight, straight up a mountain or a canyon. Makes the trip a little longer, but worth it. So here you can kind of see we're coming up. I just went around one switch back. Now I'm switching back the other way. And then a little turn here. And then up another one. So you kind of get the idea of how this trail works. There's the other team down there. Can you see them? Uh-oh, might be micro spike time. I see ice all along the, the walls there. I hope it's not uh, super slick because I really don't want to put them on if I don't have to. I'd rather just get up with my tinnies on, but I'm seeing some signs of ice. That's quartz, but there's some signs of ice below as well. So I'm hoping it's not too chilly enough to where I can not have to use my micro spikes or I have pocket cleats. But if I have to use them, I have to use them. I'd rather use them than fall off a freaking hill. So we'll find out, huh? The higher elevation that I get, the more the colder it will get, and the more chance of me having to put those bad boys on. So here I go. There they are. They haven't made it to the switchback section yet, so I'm a little bit above them. They're coming. How's it going? Doing well. back switch back switch back after switch back hey guess what I'm coming up on a switch back <laughs> switch back come around a switch back this one actually is a switch back amazing view Donkey party coming down the hill. Boy, no kidding, right? I know. <laughs> I know exactly. No, those aren't for you. <laughs> they thought you had Pringles for you. Pringles, yay! <laughs> Hey! 
Hi. The what? Oh. Princess wave. <laughs> Let me get the princess wave. The princess wave. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, didn't say I couldn't. <laughs> Just mule around over here. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Take care, guys. You too. Look, the mules are going through switchback after switchback. They were having a donkey disco. The guys are right there in that switchback. Are they looking at me? Oh, they're looking at me. Yeah, stay at the new garden and Phantom Ranch tonight people. Thank you. Still have time for dinner. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. And ice cream and some beer maybe. Thank you. Bye. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Not too much farther, you know. So I think they said I have under two to go, but I keep thinking three. I'm really confused. I'm just gonna keep hiking up the hill until I get there. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me how many miles are left. It's early. I think it's gotta be like maybe 10 o'clock. So I should be good to go. I just passed the lady and I wanted to film her, but I didn't. You can see here they had their micro spikes on. Traction. She said she just took them off right around that corner. I think that's what those people were doing. Taking their micro spice off. So we'll see if I need them. I'm hoping not to put them on, but it would be kind of nice to use them, I guess. We'll just see. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure I'm coming up to another switchback right here. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Enjoying the hike? Yeah. All right, good. Me too. Okay, you too. Let's go down for a better trip. All right, guys. We'll see you at the top. Off we go. Hello. How are you? Hi. Doing well. Enjoying the hike. Have a good day. Thank you. Coming up on another switchback. This is my view. They have a lot of these steps that are in, ooh, that was a calf burner. A lot of these steps that are in these, uh, on these trails. So you're always stepping over these things and pushing up with your calf and your toes. But it feels good when you get to the top. Look at this. See, one of the good things about a switchback is that you get to come to the point where you see amazing views and you get to look up every once in a while and see things like that. So, pretty cool. I better get on it. This guy is catching up to me. Thank you. Stop. Where are you guys headed to? Yes. <laughs> Phantom Ranch, I heard. Phantom Ranch. Yes. Awesome. It's a great state. Get a beer. Get a Bright Angel beer. IPA. Bright Angel? Right. Yeah, at Phantom Ranch. There you go. That's exceptional. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy these switchbacks. There's not very many of them. <laughs> See you guys. So right when I stopped the camera, that guy said, it gets pretty icy up top. And I said, I had spikes. And he said, good. Which means I'm probably going to get to use my my pocket cleats. At least it's uphill and not downhill, I think. 
since I've never used them, I don't really know. Working my way up. The guy told me it was only an hour and a half, but he was coming downhill at three miles an hour, and I'm going uphill at one and a half, so who knows what time is here. It's just all about the mileage that you get in. I'm really surprised that the guys aren't behind me, though. They should have been here by now. I waited for like, I don't know, 15 minutes and did a little clip of video, watched passerbyers go, and they still didn't uh, catch up to me. So they're probably just enjoying the sights and scenes while I'm working on the hike, I guess. I'm doing both, but anyway, working up. Probably coming up here to another switchback if I had to guess. How's it going? <laughs> Same here. Just working my way up, slowly but surely. You come on, you're, you're good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you headed to? Probably just going down to Indian Garden. That's where I just came from, yeah. Camp there, though. Yeah, we did camp, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. How was it? Was it windy last night? It was beautiful. It was good. a little chilly, but as far as wind and weather, it was nice. Oh, good. Yeah. I know. We won't be camping. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you brought a hammock or something, you could just lounge around down there. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Have fun. Oh, I think I got a shot of the guys. Uh, maybe not. How's it going, man? Good, you? Doing well. Right. Just trying to get to the top. Yeah, almost. Soon, right? Soon, Yeah. It took about 45 minutes to get here going down. Okay, so probably exactly. Thank you, man. Have a good one, you too. Hello, how are you? Good, doing well. How are you? Good, good. It's difficult to hide. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, they're about the same. Bye. Bye. Uh, Espanol or Portuguese? Portuguese. Portuguese. I thought I was Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later. hiked right through those canyons right there all the way up to here all down those truck those trails those trails the trail that guy's on around one of these switchbacks hello how are you doing well as well enjoying the beautiful day it sure is. Beats coming out here in the summertime, doesn't it? <laughs> I could use a rest. <laughs> Am I? All right. Is it icy? No. Yeah. Well, up top. Have you not been up there? No, we've come from the bottom. Uh, there's a section. How much? What do you think? Half a mile. Yeah, that's half kind a mile, of. Three quarters of a mile. Uh, yeah, icy kind of top. icy at okay. the top. Uh, snow, there's snow a and dirt. There's a lot of sand on it. But yeah. You'll get. You'll get. I have great. spikes. Oh. oh, well, oh, here's that. <laughs> yeah. I, you're, you're fine. Okay. You come from where? So, we came from South Khabib down to uh -huh. Phantom Ranch, the Indian Garden, and then now oh, back lovely, up to the Lovely, lovely. Yeah. That's great, great trip. Great. Hey, have a good day. You too. Hello, how are you? Doing well. 
Uh, so we stayed the night in Indian Garden last night, and then Fan Ranch the night before, and then South the Beach Trail. So we've been down here for a couple days. Awesome. It's been awesome, yeah. Time for a hearing job. Yeah. Starting to feel a little fatigued. But not too bad. Because you're dividing the time, the speed and all that. To the top? Yeah. Okay. We'll be lucky in half an hour. All right, sounds good. I knew I wasn't doing it in five hours. <laughs> said an hour from here. He's moving pretty quick. Wouldn't surprise me if he does it in five hours. I have no idea what time it is. I mean, that guy told me 10.45, so almost 11. Um, but I don't know what time I left. <laughs> I'm really pretty clueless sometimes when it comes to all the information. Because I know where the trail is. I know how to get to the top of the trail. I mean, it's not like this is some kind of a hidden back trail. It's the Grand Canyon. There's tons of people coming here all the time. There's a telephone. Keep wildlife wild. Don't feed them. There's a toilet. My calf muscles are starting to hurt again. All right, let's finish this thing up. If we got an hour, how about I get, doing, get to doing some hiking? Of course, when I get to the top, the guys won't be there for another however long probably another hour so I have to find a place to keep warm maybe hang in my hammock and take a little nap in it we'll see if I'm allowed to do that right, here we go rolling 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 keep them donkeys rolling raw high wow. move them up head them out move me and head them raw high As I enter into this switchback, I'm gonna go ahead and use some, do some food for thought. So I've asked several people how long it took them to get to where they were, and I've gotten several different answers at several different points. Some points within five minutes of each other are almost an hour's difference. So I think what I'm learning is that people move around this world at different paces. Some people move faster, some people move slower. Some people carry more weight, some people carry less. Some people are doing a day hike, some people are doing overnighters. So, the natural thing to do is ask somebody how long it is, but you really can't go off of that. You have to go off of you and your own body and your own height time. And don't really worry about the time. Sure, you might wanna make records and hike fast and move, and if, you got, if you're doing the Appalachian Trail day in and day out, that's different. We're talking about hiking up the Grand Canyon here. So take your time, enjoy the views, and don't listen to what people say about the time because it's all on how much time you have. We're coming up on another group of people. Let's see how long they stay till the top. How long until uh, the top, do you think? A couple days. It's perfect. <laughs> See, told you, everyone's got a different time frame. <laughs> I decided to take a little break. After the guy said 45 minutes, I realized that I didn't drink much water, so it probably use some. I'm sweating pretty good, which means I probably need to cool down before my clothes get wet. And uh, I'm coming up on some colder weather, so I got my shirt pretty handy right here. Uh, my fleece. So if I need to take off the pack and throw it on really quickly, I can. Super scenic, super mega scenic. So after I've hiked up this far, I don't really know how far it is, but it is, uh, the calf muscles have definitely loosened up. I'm feeling good. I can touch my toe just barely. Touching the toe, touching the toe. <laughs> At a weird angle. <laughs> Drink a little bit more of this water and then we'll get moving again. So it doesn't look like I have too much further to go. There's a little stairway, it hikes over to there again as it kind of hikes up through that gap right there, I guess. Um, so after that, can't be too much further. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my water for another two minutes. I don't really break for long. I feel like when I break for a long time, my legs get not 
tighter, or they're not looser, but tighter. So, might as well just keep moving them and keep hauling to the top. I think I'm about 20 something pounds, 22 pounds, I would guess. Um, well, actually, probably less than that. I'd eaten most of my food. Food was four pounds, water was eight, water and bourbon was eight. So, that means I had 12 pounds, and no bourbon left, and some food. So, maybe like 18, 20 pounds. All right. How's it going? Fine. Good. Got to be enjoying this, huh? <laughs> All right. Here comes this guy trying to pass me again. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing well? So when I took my last break, the guy passed me. I told you, he's hauling butt up this hill. There he is. How's it going? How you doing? Doing well. Oh, filming too, huh? Yeah, if this guy keeps passing me, I have to make sure I, like, when I pass him, I get it on film. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Como estas? Yeah. Hey, como estas or como esta? Sometimes I forget the simplest things. I had a lot in this brain, and I feel like on this trip, I've said the same thing about 20 times, so we'll see how the edit comes out. But, uh, you know, I didn't do a very good job of preparing as far as knowing where I was going and what trails I was going on. I left that up to the other guys. And they've done a great job of, of planning for this trip and let me sit back and kind of veg out on the whole thing. Definitely enjoyed it. Did I say that? Have I said that before? I think so. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. How are you? Doing well, thank yeah, you. Great. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi. Thank you. Doing well. Hey, Enjoying fine. the beauty. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's yes. very beautiful. Very beautiful. Have you good down the bottom? Yes. Uh, wow. Hello, how are you? Ready for the hike? Okay. Hello. All right. So I must be getting close to the top because the the trails are getting icy. And they say when you get to the top, the trails are icy. So I'm gonna try to hike a little bit, see if I slip at all. Right now it looks like pretty clear in the middle here because I guess so many people have been coming by. But you can see there's some icy spots. So I really need to focus on the road. Donkey do. I really need to focus on the road so I don't slip because if you look here, there's the trail and then there's the side of the trail, so. Wait for these guys and get moving. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are yourself? Doing well. Where Not did you come from today? So we went Phantom Ranch yesterday and then Indian Garden today. Yep, is it slick? Not bad. Okay, good. No, it's, I've been surprised. It's pretty good for me most of the way. Good, thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Used to have that hat. I like that hat. I know, right? <laughs> my second version of it. Yeah, exactly. The uh, Volcom was down the middle of the, when I had the That's first right. one. Yep. Yeah. All right, be safe. Man. You too, guys. Be safe. I feel like I'm coming to the top. You can see vegetation right there. It only goes up a little bit higher there, so it should be getting really, really close. It's 
So now I've gotten to this point, I can definitely feel the uh, elevation change. Feel it in my lungs, feel it in my head a little bit. Just a little bit lightheaded. Not too terrible. Not too terrible, but uh, I can definitely feel the breathing and the light head and I can feel the weight on my back a little bit more. And I did just hike about, I don't know, 2,500 feet in uh, a couple hours. So yeah, the elevation's coming up. Also look at this, it's starting to get a little more slick, a lot more snow on the ground. I guess it must've snowed up here. That's why someone said, you haven't been to the top? Because it looks like they got some snow. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's see how many people have hiked here since the snow is landing. There's a lot of feet, feet print. Look at this thing. I'm running low on battery. I'm gonna capture these next people coming down and then turn it off for a minute until I get to the top. I wanna have enough battery to film to the top. Hello, how are you? Hi. You look like you're ready to go. Oh yeah, man. All right. I got two bundles up. <laughs> Enjoy it, man. All right. All right. Almost to the top, but it's still time for an energy gel. Let's punch on you on our way up. I'm trying to turn the camera off until I get up there. Quick the out point. Alright guys, see you guys at the top. Thanks for rolling with me. I know this video is going to be crazy long probably, but hopefully pretty exciting. And you get to see a little bit about what this trail, Bright Angel Trail, looks like. See you at the top. You look like a, it's summer out here. Whoop. <laughs> There you go. Well, be safe. Thank you. Not too much further until it's gone. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Be safe. Thank you. Oh, careful, careful. Yeah. You're welcome. Be safe. Slippery there. Be careful by the tree. Slippery. Slippery. Ah, by the tree. See. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, look by that tree. Okay. Yeah, it's like ice in here, right? Yes. This is for Epimy? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Doing well, man. Doing well. You guys, be safe. Okay. Where are you from? Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah. Very good. Muy bien. How are you? Good. How are you doing? doing well. How far down did you get? All the way down. Really? Yeah, we stayed the night there. A couple oh, okay. of there's a group of three more guys down there somewhere, way behind me. I don't know why, where they're at. Yeah. So. How was good it? Good trip. 
It's beautiful. It's a lot warmer down there. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, they say it's about the temperature of Phoenix when you get down in the bottom. Yes, yeah, exactly. I mean, it was. This is how crazy the weather changes here at the Grand Canyon. Snow there, and now I'm on a dusty, clear trail. Um, but I met a lot of amazing people. It's been a, quite an adventure, I must say. I met a lot of amazing people. I uh, have hiked from the top of the Grand Canyon to the bottom. I've seen a ranch that's, uh, that's also a phantom. I've seen quite, all kinds of crazy wildlife, mules. I actually saw a wolf on top of a mule. I saw people dancing. It's been just an amazing adventure that I don't think that you'll ever get to do anything exactly like this ever again. So put it down for the record books. I've hiked to the top of the Grand Canyon from Phantom Ranch in two days. A little stop at Indian Garden. So it's been a beautiful, amazing trip. I can't wait to get to the top for a nice cold brewski. Hello, how are you? Good. Now the sun is beating down on me. I was cold a few seconds ago in the snow and now I'm in the nice sun and back in the desert again, I feel like. Whew. The altitude is really getting to me though. I don't know if it's just because I've hiked so many miles and my, heart's ra and my heart is racing or if it's actually the altitude, but I would guess I'm back up there in the 6,000 marker. <sighs> look, so I gotta do a little bit more snow before it's all said and done. All right, look, a few increments of battery left. Let's save this. How you doing? Good morning, Hi. how are you? Good morning, just trying to get to the top. Look at you. <laughs> Don't slip, it's a little slippery when you get to the snow, so be careful. Okay, okay you're welcome. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Oh my God, I just saw like a fox or maybe a small mountain cat. There he is right there, it's a fox. He's going up the hill there. Barely seen the sun's kind of in my eyes. Oh, there he is. Dang, that was really cool. That was really, really cool. Let's see if I can see his footprints. The sun was right there blocking and I couldn't get him on camera. I wish I could have. The altitude's got me all off balance here. Obviously in that area, the birds are kind of falling. I guess it's a warning sign. That was really cool. Let's see, he came up, where was that at? He came up from this side. Is that it? Maybe there? And then hopped on over somewhere and went up here, I think. I don't know. I wasn't really... That doesn't look like freshly new snow, though. Well, either way, it was really, really cool. Wish I would have caught him on film. Maybe I could zoom in once I get it back to the shop. All right, see you guys at the top. Looks like old Red Leader caught up to me. Look at him go. And, uh... My racing partner right there, I passed him. I'm smoking him now, look, way ahead. <laughs> he can hear me, I think. <laughs> Here, that's right where I saw the silver fox, right where he's going. That's awesome. He's probably up there now because the birds are going haywire up there. All right, I only got a little bit of battery. I'm holding on for dear life. Wow, what a terrible, nasty shot. Pew! Oh, I'm scruffy. Whew. I guess that's what you get for not showering for a week. And I'm ripe. Trust me, I am ripe as a banana. All right. So here comes Red Leader. I'm gonna turn the camera off till he gets here. All right, buddy. Child's new name is Skates. Skates. He skates all over these trails. <laughs> well, nice job, man. We're, we're almost there. Couple of slick spots, but not too bad. Not too bad. At all. I'm, I'm feeling the altitude a little bit, like my heart started racing yeah. a, little, a little more extra. I than... just thought it was climbing a mountain. Well, yeah, but I think it's the altitude. <laughs> I was breathing heavy, got a little wobbly. Oh, that's a drop, isn't it? Dude, that is a drop. Oh, 
slippery dro drop. That one little slippery section, it was, it was slippery downhill, but not uphill. Yeah. But I saw lots of people like. Oh, did you? They, yeah, they. I, I guess coming down, yeah. Ex be exa hard. Exactly. So one guy asked me, he's like, is there a lot of snow down there? And I only saw one little patch of snow, I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> then you come around that corner. Well, and, and then from there on, it was snow covered, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like we should be the top. There's a man made hole up there. Oh, yeah. We gotta be close, right? Yeah, as many people as I've seen. Yeah. That bathroom down there. Exactly, yeah. Picked up. Yep. And I filmed every one of them. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be about the people too. Like, there's people from all over the world that come here. Yeah. You know, it's not just us, yeah, Kentucky yeah. boys. It's the dad and, and the son. The son who went to the UK. Yeah, I, I, told him, I told him to stop oh, yeah. and say hi to you. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I gotta put this camera down for a minute and finish this hike up. My arms are getting tired. Happy to have Red Leader on my team now. It's a little slick once you get down there. Okay. If you go far enough, the snow goes away. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> hey, there's a building. We made it to buildings. Civilization. Back up to the top again. Woo. Heck yeah, buddy. Killer trip. Woo. Heck yeah. Congratulations, buddy. Good job, man. It felt so good when you hit that patch of sun when you get near the top. Yeah. Warms your soul. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been waiting? Uh, 30-ish. Yeah. Now the whole the drummer just got here. The whole band's back together. We just hiked to the top of the Grand Canyon. Oh my God, it's a great feeling. My legs are sore. I'm tired. I stink. I can't wait to get to Vegas and get a shower. But we just hiked all of this. The Grand Canyon, there's a lot of people that come and see it. Not everybody goes down to the bottom. But uh, we just finished it out, man. And I feel feels so good on the inside, the outside, and uh, emotionally, all of it. it feels wonderful. <laughs>